What happened to the Chesapeake Bay when we turn on a light? Or drive a car? Or watch TV? All of these things can contribute to air pollution, which has a big impact on the health of the bay and our communities. In fact, about one third of the bay's nitrogen pollution comes from the air, and it can travel a really long way. The bay's airshed, the area in which our region's air circulates, is nearly nine times larger than the watershed. That means that air pollution can come from as far away as Canada in the north and Indiana and Kentucky to the west. Much of the pollution is released from power plants and vehicles that burn fossil fuels like coal and gas to produce energy, but it can also come from factories and even poultry and livestock farms. These sources emit many different types of particles into the air, including greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and methane, as well as other pollutants called nitrogen oxides. Up in the atmosphere, greenhouse gases trap heat and drive global climate change. Climate change is leading to warmer water temperatures in the bay and the streams that feed into it, raising sea levels and leading to more severe storms. It also impacts our human health by making cities hotter, intensifying dangerous weather like floods and storms, and changing the prevalence of disease carrying insects like mosquitoes and ticks. Closer to the ground, nitrogen oxides react with other chemicals in the air to form particulate matter and ground level ozone. This pollution disproportionately affects communities of color and communities with lower incomes and has been linked to asthma, bronchitis, lung cancer, and other serious health problems. Eventually, some air pollution falls into rivers, streams, and the bay or washes into waterways from the surrounding land. Scientists call this process atmospheric deposition. Pollutants are released into the air and fall directly back to the earth. This is called dry deposition. The second type of deposition occurs when pollutants mix with water particles in the atmosphere and fall out of the air along with rain and snow. We call this wet deposition. Deposition contributes to algal blooms and low oxygen dead zones, and it is the main source of toxic mercury that contaminates the fish that we eat. Luckily, unhealthy air does not have to be a part of life in the bay. We can all help reduce air pollution. We can support renewable energy sources like solar. We can use low emission vehicles, public transportation, or bike and walk. We can demand strong air regulations and land use planning that protects public health and our water. And we can make smart energy choices at home every day. It can start with the flip of a switch.